This is Steve Schiffman. I want to thank you for joining me today on this particular webinar, our podcast. It's kind of important because I think that what's happening today is more than just difficult. It's more than just having a problem. It affects the entire world. And you and I know that. As salespeople or as a sales manager, you realize how difficult it's going to be to keep your clients, customers happy. You can't get there. They can't get to you. Everybody's working out of their home. This is just a crappy time. Now, see, I'm telling you that. And I'm telling you that for a reason. Because no one's else saying that. They're all pretending. They're all saying to you, oh, it's going to be over. And it will be over. There's no question about that. But what are you going to do in the meantime? Now, if you're in sales, every single sales manager, managers listen to this, every single sales manager has said to the people, to their people, I want you to call all your existing customers and tell you what we're doing, make sure they're okay. And I agree with that, except I know for a fact that many of you don't do that. You're not calling anybody because they don't want to hear from you and you don't want to hear from them. The first week of this virus, terrible virus situation, it was okay. You could connect with people. But as the weeks and days, or the days and weeks progress, it's more difficult. My guess is you don't want to get dressed. My guess is you're not going out. I've talked to any number of salespeople, and they're predicting that 40 to 50 to 60% of their business will be gone, and it's probably gone now anyway, because those people can't buy product. Even if they need it, they can't buy it. They don't have the money. They're not working. They're not in their office. They're not aware of what's happening. I'm going to talk tomorrow about how to handle this situation. But I am telling you, it is a difficult situation and one that we can admit to. I watch on television these PSAs that come out, public service announcements that come out for all these celebrities. And they don't worry, don't worry, it's going to be all right. Yes, I agree, but they've got a million dollars stashed away or a billion dollars stashed away and helicopters and jet planes. And yeah, for them, sure, why not? Let's see Garth Brooks stay in his house, strum his guitar and tell you it's gonna be great, and he's living in a bunker. Oh, and I'm not saying that everybody's like that. I'm not saying that you're like that. I'm not saying that I'm like that. But frankly, I am saying this is damn upsetting. And I want you to know that. I want you to, you can say it, you can say to somebody, you know, I don't have to get dressed in the morning. I don't have to do anything in the morning. There's no place to go. See, I think that we're saying that, but not out loud. The government is putting billion, billions, billions of dollars into this. How are they going to recoup that except tax you more? Not that I think they should not do that. But about the ship that's in New York Harbor or the ship that's in California now? Are they doing what they're supposed to do? I don't know. I don't even know what they're supposed to do. This is a difficult time. Let's call it for what it is. It's crappy. It's the worst time of your life as a salesperson, the worst time of your life as a sales manager, the worst time of your life as a potential owner or owner of a business. I, I got the forms today to protect my business, right? But does it really work that way? Or is it a loan that's gonna be repaid at the end of the term? I don't know. There's so many conflicting statements. Government doesn't tell the truth. I don't know, maybe it does, but we know that in New York State, the rate of increases on this virus is horrendous, but that's happening all over the country. In fact, all over the world. So here's my thoughts to you. My thought is that you will get business and it will come back. I've got to believe that or else what's the point? May not be what you expect. So I need you now to prepare for that, to give some thought to what you're going to do. Knowing full well that your customers are having the same problems. They're in the house too. They're locked up. They're going, what do I do today? Everybody's in the same position. So I want you to give some thought to what can you do? What will you do? Because this is the moment where you as an individual can shine. Where you as an individual can do something to take action. Besides sit around in your house. Okay. We'll talk about this tomorrow. This will be posted today. You'll get something tomorrow. I want you to think about that. But let's not think about it with rose-colored 
sunglasses. There's a reality to your life right now that may be threatening. So this is Steve Schiffman. I want to thank you for joining me. As always, I'm humbled by your presence. Okay. Well, let's do the next one. I've got time. What is it? Yeah, I've got, I'm doing another one. Let's do another one. Kobe number two on today's day is three and no, four. What was that? Four, six. Are you going to pass over Seder at all? Yeah, I want to go to. Jennifer's going to do one, but we're going to do it virtual. Oh. And you know who's really coming along? I'm so proud of you. You and I have conversations. I'm very proud of you. Good kid. I love that kid. All right, Kobe. Here we go. Number two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This is Steve Schiffman coming you, to you live today. I'll be recorded live just to talk about some things that you as a salesperson could do. As you know, this blog, this podcast, this webcast is posted virtually every day. And the reason is to help you as a salesperson or help you as a sales manager be more effective in your management of people that you're working with. This is a difficult time. I said that yesterday. This is difficult. This is crappy. And when I say crappy, it's crappy. I think in some ways it's worse than 9 worse than 9-11. Now I think 9-11 was horrific, so don't misunderstand me. But we lived through that. I was in New York when that happened. I have a friend we lost because of that. I have companies that I work with that were lost in that, that absolutely terrible, terrible disaster. But what's the coronavirus doing is doing to us today? It's stopping you mentally from succeeding. It's stopping you mentally from moving on. It's stopping you mentally from saying, I'm going to get past this. But you need to know how. My guess is you as sales managers and you as reps have heard this from your sales managers. Just call all your customers and make sure they know that we're there for them. Sounds so trite, doesn't it? So let me give you something that I'm working with right now with a salesperson, trying to give him the, the, the foundation to reach out to his existing customer base. Here's what I suggest. Number one, prepare a series of meetings, not email, real mailings, real mail that you put in the mail that you're going to send to your existing customer base. Now, you could send them to new, potentially new customers, but that's up to you. Right now, let's maintain ourselves with existing business. And I want you to send a note to them that says a little card, postcard will work, saying, hey, we're in this together, thinking about you, hope you're okay, whatever it is you want to write. And I'd like to see you put your picture on that card so they know it's really from you. If the president of your company will do that with you, that's even better. But I think you want to acknowledge now your customers. So you're going to prepare three, four mailings like that. You're going to stand, put them out on a one, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half weeks apart. It's up to you. We want to do one week. I don't like that. I think two weeks is better, but give some thought to that. So that's the first thing. We're going to start to acknowledge that they're there and we're here too. Number two, number two, I want you to call the people that you're mailing to. Say, now you have a list. I want you to call them. And you're going to just say, listen, I just want you to remember, we're prepared. When everything gets normal, we'll be out there. We can help you. So you're going to do And you leave that on your email, on your, your, your voice message when you tell them. This is not the time where I usually tell you not to leave a message. Leave a message. Hey, we're thinking about you. You okay? Because to be honest, phones aren't ringing. Third, email. How do you use email now? This is what I did. I wrote to every single one of my customers in my email, and the reference was well, W E L L. And then I wrote a short note Hey, dear John, I was thinking about you today and hope you're well. We're holed up in our house, but we're getting through. Talk to you soon, Steve. That's it. But send that out. The word well will get that email opened. The word well will get that email opened. If you like to text, then text. 
But what you're looking to do over the next four, five, six weeks is to remind them that you're ready to go. Now, how do you know you're ready to go? Well, your company has to have the product or service prepared, which means they've got to do something for you. You've got to know that's available. But I promise you, if you do not do this now, that is start with something, nothing is going to happen. Oops, I'm going to find myself. Nothing is going to happen here. This is the beginning. This is the sale. You've got to hold that true. So this is what we're going to do. All of us this week are going to prepare a card that we're going to mail. We're going to prepare emails we're going to send. And we're going to prepare calls. Hey, you okay? We're okay. We're thinking about you. That's it. Don't sell. Stop selling right now. Just stop selling. This is not going to happen for you. But you can do other things. Equally important, this will motivate you, I hope, to do some other things. Because you're going to start thinking about this. This is a great time to think. There's no place else to go unless you got little kids running around. Go take a walk and think this through. Think through what you can do. You think I'm the only one that has ideas? I know you have ideas too. So use them. Think about it. Think about it. Okay? Okay. I will talk to you again tomorrow. This is Steve Schiffman. You can reach me by email, by phone, any way you want. Go to the website. Let me know how you're doing. And please pass this along to somebody else. Or if you'd like, subscribe. We'd love to see your name. Got a question? Call me, write me. I respond immediately. Any of that stuff. Because I think you're maybe a client, you know. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So this is Steve Schiffman. Thank you very much for joining me today. A difficult time. And as always, you honor me and humble me by your presence.